In this video, we'll get into some of the basic introduction of IPsec VPNs. What is what is exactly IPsec? So first, we'll we'll start up with some of the basic review of the VPNs, and then we'll talk about what is IPsec and what exactly it is going to provide. And then finally, we'll see some of the VPN type implementations we can we can have by using IPsec. Now, if we just go with the basics of the VPNs, what we have discussed in our VPN sections in the previous videos, we have we, we have something like a virtually private network, which is going to replace most of the point-to-point -point connections. Now, we can have a virtually a point-to-point -point connection over the existing. Uh, it can be a service for network, or it can be at a internet as well. So, virtually, it's going to have a dedicated a point-to-point -point connection established. Now, we got some different implementations, like we have some GRE implementations we got some dm vpn even we got some mpls or l2tp v3 protocols frame delay now ipsec is going to be something different here now the main main reason of implementing ipsec here is to provide some more security for your information when it goes over a, a private a public network it can be an internet or any other network now ipsec is a protocol a set of protocols we can say which was developed by Internet Engineering Task Force, which is going to allow the communication between the two different hosts. Like in our scenario, like say router one to router two, we want them to communicate over the existing network in a more secure manner by, by doing some authentication and by doing some encryption kind of things. So in a simple way, it's going to create a secure channel or a secure communication process between the two hosts or two devices over the, any any other network, any public network. So now this IPsec can be implemented individually with some IPsec VPNs, or we can implement this IPsec protocols over GRE or or DM VPN kind of implementations. Now it, it's going to support from from very small to very large size networks, and this IPsec feature is uh, is available in the Cisco IIS versions. And also it includes in the different PIX firewalls and ASA firewalls as well. Now here our main focus will be on going through with IPsec features. In the later on videos, we'll see how to implement this IPsec on a Cisco IIS routers. So let's let's try to get into some of the features what IPsec is going to provide. IPsec majorly provide four different options. It's going to provide you the confidentiality, data integrity, authentication, and and replay detection or anti replay preventing from anti replay attacks let's try to understand one by one like the first thing authentication now authentication is a method of uh, verifying the peer by by using some passwords like probably let's say i want to build a vpn connection between these two different locations and i want to ensure that the remote device is the exact device so what we'll do is we'll go with some authentication process. We'll configure some password on both the sites. And if the password matches, it's going to verify. And if the password matches, then only the, the connection will be established. Now authentication will ensure that the remote peer uh, is, is the correct peer which we are going to connect. And uh, it's going to uh, authenticate the data origin as well. So authentication is more similar to the normal authentication which we do or we can have some different authentication methods as well. So uh, the IPsec is going to provide you the data origin authentication and the remote peer authentication. And apart from that, it also provides you something called data integrity. Now data integrity is a method uh, where a particular data, let's say your information is carrying over the network. Now probably you need to ensure that your data should not be modified by anyone. So that's what we call as integrity. So it is going to run some algorithm on this site and we call it as a hashing algorithm and then it is going to send that code, the information code over the network and it's going to run the same algorithm on the other side and if the algorithm code matches on both the sides, it means that no one has modified the information. So let's say if something changed by anyone, automatically the algorithm code will, will not match automatically. Okay. It's something like in a day-to-day -day examples, we can say that, let's say I have a bank account in ABC bank and I'm transferring some amount to my another bank, XYZ. I'm doing some online transfer and I want to ensure that no one modifies this information to his destination. So there's something what hashing 
algorithms will allow you to do. So it ensures that no one has modified anything in that particular packet. So that's what we call as data integrity. Now the next thing, it also provides you some something like data confidentiality, ensuring that no one read that information. So like when, when the information is going, probably uh, the, the IPsec VPN supports some of the encryption algorithms, which will completely encrypt your information into an unreadable format so that even if someone captures this information, probably he will not be able to figure out the exact exact text. So, and then on the remote end, so they'll be using some keys and based on that keys, they will extract the clear text again. Now this is going to ensure that your data is not visible to any third parties. No, no, spo no snooping or wire tapping, something like that. Now the next thing, so apart from that, it also provides you something called replay detection. Replay detection is a method to ensure that when you're sending information, it is received only once. Because there, there is one kind of attack called replay, replay attack, where the attacker can resend the same information for authentication. Probably that is something can be avoided here. So it's a security service where the receiver will reject the old or duplicate packets in order to overcome those replay attacks. Now these are the four different kinds of features what IPsec provides which makes your information is as secure as your lease line or a dedicated line connection. So even though we are connecting over a public network or any other network, still we are sending the information as secure as it is in your private network. So that's, that's one of the thing what IPsec is going to provide us. Now the next thing we'll talk about some of the basic uh, VPN kind of implementations we can have with IPsec. We got two different types of VPNs. We have something called site-to-site -side VPNs and remote site VPNs. Now the difference is in case of site-to-site -side VPNs, we have a branch office, uh, almost a complete LAN. We got some multiple branch offices here, like we got some different LANs. And we are allowing you to have a virtually a point-to-point -point connection established between each and every site. Now probably these devices can be a routers or it can be a firewalls which will be acting as your VPN devices. Now we're going to have a virtually a point-to-point -point connection between site to site, more like a dedicated WAN connection. So we call this kind of VPN as a site to site VPN. We'll see some of the basic implementations of the VPNs, site to site VPN implementations in the later on sessions. Now we got another kind of VPN called remote access VPN or remote site VPN. Now, in case of remote site VPN, the client is going to connect to the production network, probably from a remote place. Now, the remote place can be maybe the user is sitting in his home or probably he's, he's moving around on a different locations. Probably he's something like a marketing manager or maybe he's moving into different locations. Probably he can connect from any one of his hotel rooms or from any, any specific location or from the conference room. Now the location can be anywhere. So he's going to connect. What he's going to do is he's going to install some kind of software, we call it as VPN client software, which will allow him to run this application. Once he click on it, it's going to set up a connection over the existing internet. And then he's going to connect to the remote network and he can access the resources in the LAN as if he is sitting in the LAN. So he can access the resources as if he's, he's sitting in the LAN and in a more secure way. Now this is what we call as remote site VPNs.